Well, hello friends out there in YouTube land. Today I've got something really nice for you. I've got an unboxing and setup for YouTube streaming of the Yolobox live stream encoder, monitor, switcher, on location cellular, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, however you want to use it, this yellow box helps you go live all over the place. It's really, really cool. Now, these are my first impressions and my first three hours with the product. I streamed just to see immediately how I could get online, how I could get streaming, and how I could, how much the battery would uh, would run straight out of the box. There are a couple of steps I had to follow in order to get this set up, which weren't exactly intuitive right off the bat, and this video will help you get everything set up, so just watch to the end. So if this is your first time streaming, or if this is your first time using this type of an encoder setup to stream and you're used to OBS software, and if you have no experience and you're just used to streaming on your cell phone, well, this device will get you set up and running, and this tutorial on the setup for YouTube will help you out quite a bit. If you like anything that you see, don't forget we've got Amazon links down below, and this review is not sponsored. I can say whatever I want. Yellowbox did not receive copy approval of this. However, I have contacted them with questions and will provide some updates for you in the future. So, if you're ready, let's go. Once you get moving with the YOLO box, you're going to need to create these events that are also seen over on your computer and will require a computer to complete going live. Now, I've been testing this out quite a bit. And we finally got it to, to work just fine. So we can go into an event that we've already created and there's some things that you're gonna to want to know about. The first one is going to be your streaming settings. So if you wanna stream 1080, you have to turn that on. The second thing is going to be how you switch. Now this event's already been set up, but you can see that I've got uh, input one as well as input two. And I'm gonna change my sound just while we're at it to input one. So audio one for my input. And then my computer screen so that you can see what's going on over here. And you can switch between them just by pressing one or two. Now that's a nice handy little feature. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and set up the picture in the picture feature. Uh, we do that by picking our picture in a picture setting the size and then moving it somewhere that we would like. Now, while we're using the device and everything's going during our live stream, we could double tap on that uh, picture in picture to switch between them, or once again, open up the switcher to go left and right uh, between them full screen. Now, as we're set up right here, if you want to go live, sweep over to the right and enable live streaming. So we're gonna go ahead and enable this, and I'm gonna make this for uh, unlisted. So you've got private, which is private. Friends means unlisted. Public means, well, public. But this setting right here for YouTube will not directly publish your event. Now, here on YouTube, I'll show you how that's going to happen. I'm actually going to begin recording to the internal SD card, and I'm also going to go live. So what you need to do is go into your videos, and in your videos, you will be able to check your live stream settings. Now in your live stream, you're gonna see this is test number 18, and you can actually see I've got test number 18 right here. Now it's nice that it actually shows you that you've got no audio, so we can come over here, and what it did was it messed up and went back to automatic. We're gonna to switch to HDMI one, and now you can see that our levels are up there. Now I'm recording audio separately, and, and that's a different conversation. But back to what we're doing here. But the first thing that we need to do before we can go live is actually come over here into our videos from our YouTube Creator Studio. From there, go to live, and then from there, highlight the video that you want, the stream that you've got, and then click on the uh, live control room. Okay, once you're on the live control room, it's going to ask you some questions about how live and you want it to be. This is still unlisted. But the thing that stops you from going live is this question right here. When they added this COPPA question, this does not allow you to automatically go live. So if you don't have a computer with you, when you try to go live with this, you won't be able to go live. Facebook operates differently, so you can, but YouTube requires this particular button to be pressed. At that point in time, it's going to bring up this stream that you see. Now the stream up here is going to give you information about your stream, should make sense. But there's a couple things that are going to be difficult right off the bat. And the first one is the stream key, okay? If you look, you'll notice I've got quite a few stream keys in here. And the reason is quite simple. Every time you create a new event in the Yellow Lot Box Live, it creates a new stream key. It's not like you have one that you can reuse. And they're all created with the same name as before, which means ugh, they're all kind of rough. 
So you can't go live because the streaming software isn't even connected yet. So now you have to connect it. So what do you do? Well, you come over here and you collect the first stream and you just test them all the way down. When you're done and you actually see a signal that's good, it will pop up and say you have a good connection. So I went to the first one, now I'm going to the second one. Now, here we go. I've found one that's working. Notice it says, please check the resolution of the video. The current resolution is 1920 by 1080, which is not optimal. What it's telling you is that your stream health has some kind of restriction placed upon it. That restriction is here. It's showing you that we've got good and not excellent, but it's also showing us that the reason it's not excellent is because YouTube's not being able to identify what resolution the stream is. The reality is it's streaming quite well. Once that's done, you still have something else to do. You can go back to your stream settings if you'd like, but you have to click go live. Now, once you go live, there's about a 30 second delay and that delay is normal. But how do you get to something to share? Well, if you're on your iPhone and you go live, you can easily share that link. Not as easy from the control panel. You must next back out of the control panel, go to the uh, streaming software that you see right there, test 18, and get a shareable link. Once you've got that link, you're then able to use that link, put it into your browser or email it, and then you can see the link. There you go. That's what we're looking at right now, and you can see it. That is our video that you're watching right there. You'll notice that although I'm streaming in 1080 on the yellow box, it's only coming in at 720. When you're done, it's as simple as coming over here, pressing stop, close, and calling it a day. When you do so, you'll be brought back out to the yellow box, and then that's it. You cannot get into any one of these again. You have to delete them if you so wish. And at that point in time, your live stream is over. All right, friends, that will do it for today. This yellow box is a fantastic piece of kit. It has a couple of quirks like anything else, a new piece of equipment, but it does something that no other devices are doing. It gives you a capable monitor, gives you a capable switcher, it gives you an encoder, and it gives you the ability to go live through cellular, Wi-Fi, or Ethernet on location. How crazy is that? I absolutely love it. I look forward to bringing you some more informational videos about this. Remember, this was just my impressions. We've got a full review coming as well as setup guides for all the other services. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.